This is the second part of the video on two force members. In the previous video, I dealt with the basic concepts of two force members. And in this video, I'm going to apply those concepts in solving this problem. So I strongly urge you to watch the previous video first and then come back here and, and watch this video. And you shall be able to get the most out of this video if you do that. Okay, so let's examine what all data has been given in the problem statement. Here is a rigid body, a frame, which consists of two members, DC and CBA. These two members are pinned together at point C. The whole rigid body is supported at points D and B with pin supports and a force of 80 newtons is exerted at point A and we have to find out the reaction force at point D and at point B. The first step in solving the problem is to draw a free body diagram and since we have a pin support at point D we shall have two components of the reaction force shown in the FBD. These are the two components in x and y direction and similarly at point B also we shall have two components of the reaction force Bx and By in horizontal and vertical direction. So now we see that we have four unknowns and this is a 2D structure so we will have only three equilibrium equations. So we shall not be able to solve four unknowns with just three equations. So how do we proceed further and solve these four unknowns? So this is the problem. Now at this point there are two ways to proceed further. One is to dismember the entire rigid body and consider these two members separately. Since the entire body is in equilibrium, these two members also will be in equilibrium. We can make free body diagrams of each individual member and write three equilibrium equations for each of them and in totality we shall have six equations and we shall be able to solve the four unknowns. But this procedure is a lengthy procedure and an alternate and simpler way is to look for a two force member in this rigid body. So can we identify a two force member in this, in this rigid body? Yes, it appears the member DC is a two force member because forces are acting only at points D and C. That is only at two points of the member and therefore this is a two force member. And we know the property of two force member that is the net force acting at point C and D would be collinear or in other words along a line joining the two points D and C. And therefore now we know the direction of the, the reaction force at D which is along the line joining the two points D and C and therefore we shall have only one unknown here at point D and we already have two unknowns at point B. Now the unknowns will get reduced from 4 to 3 and with three equilibrium equations we should be able to solve the problem. So with this idea in mind let us make a revised free body diagram of this structure. The revised free body diagram looks like this and as you notice here the reaction force F in a particular direction and that direction is along the line joining the two points D and C and since the member DC is a quarter of a circle this line DC would make an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal and therefore the force F would be at an angle of 45 degrees with minus x axis. Right, so now we begin to write the equilibrium equation. It makes sense to first write the moment equation and that too about point D so that we are able to eliminate the two unknown variables from our equation and our equation will have only one unknown and that is the force F. So sigma mb equal to 0 and all counterclockwise moments shall be 
considered as positive, the force of 80 newtons will produce a counterclockwise moment about point D and its moment arm will be 250 millimeters. So, we have this first term here 80 times 250. The force F can be broken down into two horizontal and vertical components. The horizontal component F cos 45 degrees because this angle is now 45 degrees. The horizontal component F cos 45 will also produce a counterclockwise moment and the moment arm for this component would be this distance which is 75 plus this distance which is 60 mm. So, in totality 135 mm. So, we have this term F cos 45 times 135. The vertical component F sin 45 will produce a clockwise moment about point B and the moment arm for this component would be this distance which is 75 plus 90 that is 165 millimeters and since it is clockwise we have the negative sign the sum of all these three moments will be equal to 0 and this equation will yield F equal to 942.8 newtons which is rounded off to 943 newtons so that is the answer. So, that is the reaction force at the pin joint D. This is of magnitude 943 newtons and it makes an angle of 45 degrees with the minus x axis. Now, we have to find B x and B y and for that we write the other two equations sigma f x equal to 0. We have only two forces in x direction that is f cos 45 is in minus x direction and b x is in positive x direction. We therefore, have this equation and we plug in the value of f here and we get b x equal to 666.66 newtons and similarly, we write the next equation sigma f y equal to 0 and we have minus 80 plus f sin 45 plus b y equal to 0 and that will give us b y equal to 586 minus 586.56 newtons. That is in actuality the direction of b y is just the reverse it is pointing towards minus y direction. Now that we have the values of b x and b y we can find out the magnitude of the reaction force B which is square root of B x square plus B y square and that will give us 888 newtons and the angle it will make with the x axis will be tan inverse of B y upon B x and that will be equal to 41.3 degrees. So, the force B will be in this direction this is 8 88 newtons and it makes an angle of 41.3 degrees with the x axis. So, we are done. We have found the two reaction forces at D and at B and it was possible to find out these two reaction forces after considering that member DC is a two force member and therefore, the reaction force at point D would be along the line joining the two points D and C. In case you have any question or you need any clarification, please feel free to put them in the comment section and I will be too pleased to answer them. If you like the video, please give your thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel. And, and thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.